Yeah. What, what, what's your name and, uh, and what do you do? Hi, my name is Tony White. I'm one of the creative directors at uh, Armadillo Sports. And, and what, do, what do Armadillo Sports do? Well, Armadillo Sports have developed uh, a unique protection, multi-plated protection system, which is worn at the back of your leg to protect the vulnerable calf and Achilles tendon areas. So it's not a shin pad, it's not a traditional shin pad in any shape or form. It's very lightweight, flexible, multi-plated armour, so that when you're playing and enjoying the game, you've got protection from the odd challenge or stunning by the bike into the back of your leg. So is it, is it something that just sits on the back of your leg? Or is it... it does, it's a very lightweight material. It adheres very well to the shape of your leg. Aesthetically designed to mould with the user, it's very, very lightweight, very, very uh, hardy material. It's, it acts like a second skin because naturally, at the back of your leg, you've got body movement, you've got muscles expanding, you've got the, the ligament and the tendons in the leg, so it can't behave like a solid shin guard. The multi plated system also dissipates the energy very effectively from impact challenges. So we found it uh, the trials very effective, very good, very good to wear because it's only uh, even the biggest size weighs under 50 grams. So you've got a very lightweight application. It doesn't interfere with the ergonomics of your legs. And what's the what's the reason for developing it in, in, in the first place? The inspiration really came from the real world. Um, I was and still am a very keen amateur footballer on a Saturday. Uh, a friend of mine a few years ago had a bad stud challenge down the back of his leg. He needed a few stitches in, it was quite messy, badly bruised. Put him out of the game for about a month or two. Uh, and I, I was worried about that and I thought, well, why are we going on to the pitch every time with a mandatory shin guard on, but absolutely nothing at the back? Uh, and it seemed to be an absolute no-brainer. Uh, I went away and then started to design and develop what is now our Armadillo application. It's, it's gone down extremely well at this event. Uh, we've had a fantastic response from the kids and, and from the people and players such as myself who enjoy a game on a Saturday and a Sunday. Um, and it's an absolute, you know, it's no-brainer. I'd love it if uh, maybe a few years down the road when everyone's got used to it, maybe it will become a mandatory piece of equipment. But for now, we're happy just to get into the marketplace, build up awareness in the game and about what the product benefits are. And uh, just in football in general, what, what, do you, uh, what do you think are the, the, best, the best things about the game at the moment and maybe the things that could be improved about the game? Best things about the game? Well, it's, the game is, for me, the ultimate game. Um, it's a game that you need very little to enjoy. I think it's a game that crosses all boundaries, whether you are from a wealthy background or from a poor background. It crosses gender, girls can enjoy it, lads can play. I just think it's a universal game, uh, as, as Pelé called it, a beautiful game. What I'm, what I'm about is making the beautiful game a safer game as well, uh, for the, particularly for the developing kids and the teenagers that are emerging. I think uh, anything that reduces any kind of it is going to be a good thing. For me, football's my number one love, so I can sit here and talk to you all day. <laughs>